Hey guys, this is a t-shirt my brother created and we're selling them. The link will be in the description box to donate toward my husband's medical expenses. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is Gina from Gina Renee RM Budgets. I am a zero-based budgeter who utilizes the cash as well as the cashless envelope system to assist me on my journey to financial and debt freedom. First and foremost, I cannot go any further. I know I've been sending out my thank yous and trying to watch every video and comment on every video and promote and, and share just to show my appreciation. But honestly, guys, I am blown away by the love, the support, the generosity of this community, our families, our friends, people that don't even know me or my husband have donated so generously. So many people are praying and we just cannot thank you enough for all that you guys have done and are doing for us. We are taking it one day at a time. Luckily, my husband is not in a lot of pain. I think he's probably more worried um, than anything else, as well as myself. <laughs> but I try not because you know the saying is, if you're gonna if you're gonna pray, don't worry, and if you're gonna worry, don't pray. So I definitely have been praying. So we are um, anticipating his next surgery, which is scheduled for March 4th. So that's what's been going on. The bills are starting to come in, which I mean, honestly, I was a little shocked that we were getting bills because to my knowledge, we were paying for procedures up front. And so I was like, how am I getting a bill? when? <laughs> We paid for it before it happened. But apparently, like when we paid for his first surgery, the, the amount that we paid, they told us was specifically for the surgery center. It wasn't for the doctor. And of course, it wasn't for the anesthesiologist. And then it wasn't for the pathologist. <laughs> so I'm like, Jesus Christ. But it's okay though. Um, Thanks to you guys, you know, we're making it, we're surviving, and we're just grateful. We're grateful to God, and we're great, grateful to you guys. So, this week, I have a little short, just my weekly cash stuffing. You guys know I get paid bi-weekly, so normally this is the week that I stuff my weekly cash envelopes, and then I stuff my week two envelope, but this time I'm just kind of taking it a little bit slower i'm trusting god that everything will work out so i'm not stuffing anything for next week i'm just going to try to make what i have work just because i need to make sure that as much money as possible is available just in case um that being said you guys also know that the day before my husband's surgery my landlord informed us that the house was going on the market so basically we would have to move so that was another thing i've been stressing out but praise god we did manage to find a house bless the lord <laughs> and we will be moving to the new house march uh 11th I was hoping for March 1st, but today's Friday, that's Tuesday. Uh, there's no way I was gonna make that happen, but my, my thought behind that was to move before my husband's surgery so that, you know, he could have a little recuperation time in there before we actually move. But he will have a week in there and we have a lot of help. We have family members, my son, my son has a couple friends that are going to be able to help us move so my husband um, won't have to do anything but maybe some supervising. He's great at that. <laughs> he ain't that sick. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I'm not going to keep going on and on and on. And right after I stuff my envelopes, 
I want to go over my Cancer Sucks challenge that you guys know that I am funding through donations from all of you guys. So I just want to kind of show you guys where we are and then we'll talk about the rest then. But anyway, so let's get started. I am stuffing. Um, I'm not going to count it because I took a picture and it's already laid out, but it's $275 that I'm stuffing. Uh, I have a couple kind of new envelopes, but I'm just combining some stuff. Like I combine some sinking funds with weekly spending just based on how things have been going. And um, I normally stuff 300, but I have some money still left in my envelopes. So going forward temporarily, I won't unstuff that. I'll just kind of add to it or I won't stuff an envelope if I didn't spend the money because that's just going to help me save so let's get started first thing I want to start with and I just broke a nail before I press record and hey forgive me my nails are jacked it's not the first time but that's not what we're here for <laughs> if you all want to see pretty nails y'all gonna have to go to some of my uh friends channels <laughs> go to hands and bands go to uh black and blue you want to see some nails go to their channels this is not the channel <laughs> so anyway first one i want to start with is you guys know i've been stuffing an envelope for my husband and we me and him decided together he really didn't want anything y'all i'm for real that's just how he is because he feels like he should be basically taking care of us as opposed to me quote unquote taking care of him but anyway we're not gonna pay attention to that so we came up he wanted a measly little thirty dollars and i couldn't i couldn't argue him out of it so you know he's not gonna use no envelope right but i just thought it would be so cute to use my envelope that i got from d from d versus debt for sending her a valentine card and she sent me one back and it has the little hearts on it so i figured i would just put this in there for him give it to him he just gonna take it right out <laughs> but that's okay at least i could present it cute <laughs> all right so that we got that out the way and then my giving envelope i created i didn't create a new one i had this one laying around so i was like let me change it up y'all know how i am one two three four five so i have been out and about a little bit more so i got rid of all my giving and so i definitely want to stuff this with another five dollars and you know i'll put that in the back of my the outside pocket of my purse after this all right so i'm back to my pinky big mama pinky though not the little one because y'all know i'm trying not to fold my money i'll fold my husband's i'll fold giving but when i'm in the stores and stuff is too much so we're going to start with groceries and groceries they're double oh wait i'm gonna move this because i need to scoot up okay so these envelopes are double-sided i did them myself but it was just something temporary um with some labels that I already had. So they're double-sided. So I got groceries and household. So um, groceries, I'm going to put 160 because you guys know we're trying to eat a lot healthier and it's expensive. Look, I ain't got no money left that quick. I hope I got this right, let me see. 20, is it 120? Oh yeah, it's right. <laughs> I'm just, I just don't have any money. <laughs> 120, 40, 60 for groceries. So let's put that in there. Household, I still had, let me see what's in here, a 20. There's a 20 still left in household, so that's good enough for us. Gas, we did spend gas because we're gonna be moving to a city called Clarksville, which is about 45 minutes from where we stay now. So we've been kind of driving back and forth when we were looking around. And so gas is empty and we're gonna put $50 into gas. Personal is basically my spending envelope and I had 20 left, so I just left that. That's good enough. This is new, dining out. This is the envelope that I kind of created like date night-ish dining out. Um, 
we don't eat a lot of takeout at all. We try to steer clear of restaurants, but I did look up and find a vegan restaurant that I want to kind of save up a couple weeks and treat my husband to just to get something different. And sometimes you get kind of tired of cooking and trying to come up with stuff and just give something else to try to give us something to do. So dining out this week, I'm going to add $20. So you guys know I usually add that into date night. Um, my pet care is little Memphis Pooh. He's going to get another $10. So I'll count that because he already had some money. You know, he's he's a baller. So 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So hey, see, I got some envelopes that are that are adding up. Next is my miscellaneous, and I hadn't spent it, so it still has five, 10, 15, and that's enough. I didn't need to add to that. And then the back of this envelope is for my bank deposits, which I have nothing to deposit, all right? So that's it for my weekly spending. We'll make it work. We're doing fine. We're not going without. So I'm blessed and I'm great. So let's start with my Cancer Sucks Challenge. Thanks to you guys. I think I might have put my, my weekly money that I didn't spend from last week in here. But otherwise, these are all donations from you guys, from family and friends. I even got a donation from like a women's group or something and I have no idea like who that was affiliated with but if you're listening I thank you. I appreciate it. Um, so this one is full. This one I think is let's see 1800 minus 350 to go to fill that one up. Okay so this one is 1450. So when the donations come in, sometimes people have a specific request, like what they would kind of want me to do with the money. And I know nobody really cares if I, if I do it, what they say or not, as long as it goes toward the cause that we're saving for. But I had one come in and I thought it was really, really kind and it made so much sense. <laughs> but I got one donation that wanted to buy my husband uh you know a comfy robe house shoes and like pajamas or something just for like when he's lounging around because he does a lot and especially after surgery just to have him something with you know give him some comfort and i thought that was so so sweet so i did um order him that it will be here tomorrow and i'll probably maybe do an unboxing so i can show you guys um what it was so i did subtract i think um, it ended up being, they sent $100 and I spent like $104 or something like that. Um, I did pay a urology bill that came in and I ordered him a juicer, but my niece ended up sending, she sent the money to cover that. So this is where we are. I will screenshot, I'll put a picture in, probably right here or something. I'll put a picture in of the account that I'm putting all the money in because I definitely don't want to take any chances with that money and have it laying in the house anywhere. And again, we thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, other than this challenge, you know, I was kind of bummed out. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I was a little bit bummed out because I'm like, well, you know, I miss doing savings challenges and oh, I don't have anything to save. And But I am saving because you know, because of the situation that we're in, I have cut back a substantial amount in terms of spending. Like what you guys see that I put in my spending envelopes, anything outside of that is bills. And I have to do that because my husband is still not getting paid and we're on week number three. So I cover all the bills, everything. So, and then of course you guys know in order to move, you got to have security deposits and things like that. But my parents helped out with that. So I'm grateful for that. And so when I was getting all bummed out, I was like, I'm not even saving any money. And then I thought about it. So I'm still putting my change in my change jar. I just don't do it on camera. Look. So I'm like, okay, girl, you saving. Let's see. $36.44 is in here. 
All right, so I am saving and I'm not gonna give myself, be so hard on myself like I'm not able to save because I am saving. And, okay, when I thought about that, I was like, well, wait a minute. I'm still doing my zero out challenge. I got this from Shonversations and I'm ahead, y'all, on my zero out challenge because I have several different accounts and so I kind of like do the zero out challenge from another account sometimes and it's only per week and so i use up extra weeks for that so i've paid up through march 11th which is the day we're moving and i have a total of 46 dollars and 51 cent in my zero out account and i'll put a screenshot of that for you guys to see so i am saving you guys i'm saving okay so i'm not gonna beat myself anymore beat myself up anymore I'm just going to keep going. Every little bit helps. Even if all it is is $5 sometimes or, you know, $4 this time. This right here was $1.58. But I am saving and I'm grateful for that. So I thank you guys for tuning in. I have my good days and my bad days. I just try my best to be as positive as possible for my husband. So keep us in your prayers. I've been trying to hold myself together this whole video, <laughs> but I, something my husband said kind of popped in my head and it made me kind of emotional, but I'm not going to get into it because I don't want to be boohooing on every video, but just you guys, please, please, please keep him lifted. Pray for him to not be afraid and, you know, trust God through the process and just... You know, it's got to be hard. I, I can't, I've been through breast cancer before, so I know those feelings when it's kind of like you don't know what the future holds. And you can have all the faith in the world and it's still a scary thing to not know. So just keep us lifted, guys. We love you guys. Sunday, we're going to go to church. And I'm going to share because they always stream live on YouTube, on Facebook. And um, so I'm going to share the link to um, our church service. And so then you guys can kind of tune in for when he's praying for my husband and join in and pray for him as well. And I'm trying to maybe plan a live the night before his surgery. But I'll keep you guys posted on that. So that's all I have for this week. I know I said thank you 50,000 times, but let me say it 50,000 and one. Thank you guys. I love you. I'm grateful for you guys. Thank you guys. I love you. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.